Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gates 3 Designs and today I'm going to show you how to model an A-frame house in Revit. Um, this is going to be one of many um, videos I'm going to do on this A-frame. Um, I'm going to show it all the way through from um, getting a basic model done in Revit and uh, adding windows here and there or framing and uh, moving on to SketchUp and moving on in, into the rendering process so let's get started here I usually start with architectural template <coughs> let's get this loaded up here alright so I like to start off I like to start off with basic walls um, you know because later on I'll go in and manipulate the wall and add what I need so let's start with let's start with the five inch wall generic wall and uh, we're gonna go we're gonna go about 58 feet deep let's go about 40 46 feet deep is fine this isn't specifically for any project. I want to go a little longer. Why not? 76 feet here. Alright, so we got some walls drawn up. And uh, let's see, we got these walls at um, 10 feet. I'm going to go ahead and get another level going here. Gonna, actually, I'm going to put this a little higher. Let's put that at about 40 feet. Get that A-frame feel. They usually have a really steep high pitch. Um, let's go ahead and rename this roof. Yes. Alright, so we got some walls here. So let's just go ahead and get in, go into the roof view. Uh, we can't see anything below so let's hit VR select unlimited here alright so let's go ahead and get a roof drawn on get us an A-frame drawn on go ahead, uh, set that at like 2 alright hit tab select all walls um, hit escape uh, hit escape twice um, select these define slope so we can get that gable slope hit ok so we look here it's all the way up here right so this is what we're going to do um, let's go ahead and select that roof put that base level at 1 then we're going to go to one of the elevations and we're just going to just gonna stretch it up here and uh, so we have that right we're gonna go ahead and connect to here connect to here um, do the same here and do the same here that A-frame there. Alright. Let's go back to first floor. Uh, I want to put a base on this. Go ahead and put our floor, put a slab on it. Select all. There we go. Got a good slab on it. And yeah, that's how you get your, your basic model started for your A-frame and uh, you know we can add some framing if we want you know I saw some cool roofs with framing sticking out the bottom and they're embedded into the earth it's pretty cool so let's go ahead and do something like that get your beam system um, you want to set your plane go ahead and click that bottom one Pick lines, 
select that there. Um, we need a direction. I'm going to get the center. Center. Get that there. We can manipulate how far we want it to go out um, by just clicking that edit boundary. Um, we can move it. It's at 47. Let's go ahead and make it 50. looks like we got the wrong beams that's no issue you just select beam uh, I don't have any loaded okay let's just edit load you're gonna go to uh, structural framing let's go to wood and you have you know several choices here I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with this one here click OK that load a little bit, hit OK. Um, and actually, I think I can just no. So I'll just select all of them like so. Here, 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 and one more. Go ahead and change that. just do the same for the other side but I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna model this so it can be embedded into the ground I think that looks really cool and uh, stay tuned for other videos where we'll go ahead and add some doors and windows and some lights here for the loft area so um, thanks for watching I hope you found this video informative uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed thanks